All right, developers, something very interesting happened on GitHub the other week. We are on the React Native repo. It says under the Issues tab, Facebook has taken the name of my open source project, posted by Desant nine days ago. It says, hi, I'm the maintainer of Label Actions, a GitHub app that Facebook has been using for the React Native repository. So here is this person's project called Label Actions. Pretty straightforward project, just a little GitHub app that performs actions when issues or pull requests are labeled or unlabeled. Nothing too crazy here. Nice little tool for efficiency. This person went on to say, it has come to my attention that one of your colleagues at Facebook has re-implemented the app with almost the same features and configuration syntax using GitHub Actions and shared it on GitHub using the same project name. This is actually a person's account here, not the actual Facebook account, but one of the employees there. This is their version of the app that this creator developed. This action has been published on the GitHub Marketplace using the same name as my open source project, preventing me from publishing my project as a GitHub action using the project name. Despite your bot taking heavy inspiration from my project and despite taking the name of my project, you haven't credited me or the original project in any way, possibly not complying with the MIT license. By hijacking the name of my project and taking its name on GitHub Marketplace, you are making it harder for the project to receive donations. And then this person goes on to say they tried to sign up for wit.ai. That's a Facebook product. They tried to sign up with it with a Facebook account and it, the account was automatically blocked after a couple days for no reason. Seems like a pretty dirty move by the people at Facebook. So this issue has actually gained a ton of traction around the web. It's on Twitter. It's on Hacker News. Let's see what the responses are. Now, people are saying shame on Facebook, not cool. Uh, lots of things marked as off topic. Someone's saying here this could be a potential violation of the entirety of GDPR Article 17 and these subsections, etc. F6V saying, could it be that H. Ramos never even heard of OP's project before? And then Nicholas BR said, no, check the first link in the post to the commit where they renamed it from Descent Label Actions to Marketplace forward slash actions. Uh oh. And this person's reply says they knew about project and use it here before, but still I can believe they re-implemented it from scratch for better customization and control. About taking the name, I think it's more like early bird catches the worm. The name is pretty generic, straightforward, and idiomatic for GitHub actions. And they probably don't need to comply with MIT either because the idea itself is not licensed. Not a lot of love on that post. And then it gets even worse. Designer says Facebook has actually started censoring the comments in here. Wow. Just wow. So finally, this this is turning into a rapid you-know-what storm. H. Ramos, the person who took the project and renamed it and got a quote-unquote inspiration from the original project, here this person is clarifying what happened. Number one, I originally added your project to the React Native CI. Later, I needed to migrate our workflows to GitHub Actions. Your project didn't support that, so I wrote a different implementation from scratch in a few hours. I kept the same configuration format and scoped it under H. Ramos. I thought that I credited your project as an inspiration, but clearly I didn't, and I'm sorry for that mistake. No comment. I couldn't use the action without registering it on Marketplace, so I registered it under the same name. It hasn't occurred to me that you would later attempt to do the same, but this makes sense, and I agree you deserve to have the original name there. To mitigate your concern, I plan to... Number one, add an inspiration section to my project's readme that clearly credits your project with the idea and the configuration format. Two, rename my project on GitHub Marketplace to something unique. And number three, if your project already implements GitHub Actions, I'd be happy to switch us over to using it again. And then finally, Desant, the person who opened this issue, said, thank you for reaching out both here and in private. Recently, I've begun to port some of my apps to Actions, such as these, etc. The last activity we see was four days ago. Peace Iris says, this is false. We can run an action without publishing it on the GitHub Marketplace, FYI. So if we go back to H. Ramos, now this is the Facebook employee who took this project project. And as they said, they added an inspiration section right here. Let's just see. This project is inspired by the Label Actions GitHub app by Desant. So Desant got his shout out, but the question remains, was this a malicious act? And was this a cover story down here? 
Or is this the actual case? Now, this issue was also posted on Hacker News. So someone left the comment, this seems to be just a config file in React Native, not really a copy of the project in question. Apparently, one of the Facebook developers re-implemented everything from scratch in his own account, then changed config files in the React Native repo to use his own implementation. If it was a clean room implementation, then there's nothing wrong with that apart from reusing the name, but that's another discussion. And then Dan Abramov checking in saying, Hector's colleague here, this is exactly what happened. Please see Hector's response. And that brings us back to the original issues page where he explains what happened and what he did to mitigate Desant's concern. Lots of people not really buying the official narrative though. Max Spoofing says, I agree, and I'm also reasonably sure it will go down as you said it will. The problem is there is no fix. These corporate behemoths will always intentionally or unintentionally step on people, and I say this with no animosity towards them. It is what it is. They are huge organizations with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of employees. An elephant will not try and hurt an ant, but may step on one. Facebook doesn't have the best reputation, and it has a really low trust factor. And when things like this happen, it reinforces people's belief that Facebook is not trustworthy. Yes, this person tried their best at damage control down here, what they did to mitigate Desant's concern. Now, a few years ago, some of you other developers may also remember this. I certainly do. When React had some issues with their licensing. Fortunately, they caved to public pressure and licensed React under the MIT license. So that was good. But we are seeing things like this where it makes you wonder. That's all I'll say on that for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.